Okay, so、uh, before we start our discussion, maybe I will explain a, a little bit more,、uh, uh, you know, like、uh, the whole situation, you know. <laughs> okay, okay.、Uh, like uh, uh, Sister Seale, Sujata, you know,、uh, everyone、uh, knows Sujata. You, you are the. You are, Your friends together? Yes, yes, we okay, know okay, okay.、Uh, Sayali Sujata. Yes. Sujata, yeah, okay, okay. yeah, but not everyone here knows me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Okay, so Sujata and I, we spent together、uh, some years in、uh, Paok、uh, Forest Monastery in、uh, Myanmar. Myanmar, you know?、Uh, yeah. uh, like uh, the leader is a Paok Seato, you know? And、uh, I stayed there uh, uh, four years, and she stayed there some years, you know. And uh, then, uh, because we shared the, the practice、uh, together, you know. Then <laughs> recently, uh, uh, we uh, you know,、uh, talked together again、uh, through this internet, something like that, you know. Then she invited me to your、uh, group, you know,、uh, people、uh, in Singapore, you know. Okay. So. So, so, sorry, sorry. <laughs> This is, it's a city, you know. Okay, okay. Okay. So then,、uh, because, you know, Singapore. Uh, it's a, a very interesting city. <laughs> Sorry, I, I've never been there, you know. But、uh, you have a very important position. You are in the very important position because、uh, it's very international, you know. Then、uh, you are face,、uh, exposed to、uh, many Buddhist traditions, right? Okay. And I heard,、uh, like、uh, in Singapore, there are many kinds of Buddhist temples、uh, like that. Uh, which belong to many、uh, traditions, you know. So, okay, this is our situation of the 21st century. This is totally different from、uh, 100 years ago or 200 years ago, you know.、Uh, we used to belong to just one tradition, right? You know, if you were born in China,、uh, you belong to one、uh, tradition. And if you Were born in、uh, Myanmar or、uh, Thailand or in Japan. Again, w-、uh, we used to belong to just one tradition, you know. But now it, it's、uh, very international, you know. Then we can approach to any kind of tradition, right? So、uh, we can easily go beyond our own tradition. You know, so in my case, uh, uh, Japan, you know, maybe, you know, Japan is famous for Zen, Zen Buddhism, you know, and、uh, maybe you heard many Zen masters, you know, DT Suzuki or Shunryu Suzuki or many, many teachers, you know. So, and of course,、uh, Zen is a very rich tradition. And so I practiced、uh, in Zen tradition, you know. But、uh, I also knew there are many other traditions、uh, outside of Japan, you know. Then, especially、uh, Buddhist tradition in Myanmar is very interesting for me because、uh, people say, you know, Myanmar tradition、uh, is keeping a, like an orig- original form of Buddha Dharma or something like that, you know.、Uh, so, That's why I spent four, four years in Myanmar, something like that, you know. So then, now our situation is very interesting because I, I said、uh, we used to belong to just one tradition. And this one tradition has its own like a teaching, teaching system or something like that, you know. So then, if we belong to this tr- tradition, We just learn just one、uh, teaching system and just, just teach it, you know. <laughs> Then everybody is、uh, 
satisfied, you know. But now it's a di different. Why? Because we uh, learn one teaching and we learn uh, how to practice, you know. Then we can uh, learn many things. But again, uh, we we are also exposed to different tradition, you know, and we we can learn also different teaching, different meditation system or something like that, you know, okay? So then, a little bit, of course, it's confusing, confusing, you know, first of all, confusing. You know, first of all, many, very, you, you know very well, there are Mahayana Buddhism and Theravada Buddhism, you know, they are different. They are different, okay? Uh, so their world view is different. Then what should we do? Should we choose just one? And uh, we just choose one, okay, this is right. And the other is wrong, you know? Or we choose this, uh, this is right. And the other is wrong, you know? We cannot say that anymore, you know? So, but, these true tradition a little bit contradicting, contradicting, you know. So, like uh, you know, Sujata, you know, <laughs> you learned Theravada Buddhism in Myanmar, but also you have a many relationship with the Tibetan Rinpoche or something like that, right? Yes. <laughs> right. And yes. Uh, then you cannot say no to anything. You know very well about. Uh, how how rich a Myanmar tradition is and also you know how wonderful Tibetan teachers are you know <laughs> right but but they are teaching a little bit contradict not not contradictory uh a little bit different different you know so then uh what should we do you know so sometimes we teach Theravada and sometimes we teach Mahayana, it's okay, you know, uh, but like uh, we cannot leave this difference, you know. So now, uh, myself, you know, like uh, I learned Japanese Zen Buddhism and I learned uh, Theravada Buddhism very well, and then I now, I now I can like uh, you know integrate these two traditions, these traditions, and especially as you know well, you know first, uh, like uh, Theravada Buddhism developed, 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 you know, and then suddenly Mahayana Buddhism was born around uh, first century or something like that, and why? Nobody knows, nobody knows, you know, <laughs> like nobody knows, you know. Suddenly, Mahayana Buddhism just flourish, flourish, flourish. And this Mahayana Buddhism went to China, you know. So that's why China, Korea, Japan, they are Mahayana Buddhist uh, countries, you know. And of course, Tibet, you know. But then, uh, like uh, Sri Lanka, Myanmar, Thailand, they are still Theravada Buddhist countries, you know. And we are living uh, separately until now. But now we know everything. We know what, uh, what is being taught in uh, East Asia, Mahayana countries. And also we can learn many things from Theravada countries, you know. And, and this is our advantage uh, in 21st century. You know, so then my strategy is like this, you know, I studied and practiced uh, Theravada Buddhism, you know, very carefully uh, in Myanmar, you know, with a very, you know, wonderful teacher, very wonderful teacher, Pao Seado, you know, you know, he is most authentic. Oh, very authentic, you know, <laughs> a little bit too much authentic, you know, <laughs> and that's, uh, you know, but uh, so I learned everything, you know, then 
uh, actually I mastered all uh, meditation stages, everything, you know. Then I discovered why Mahayana Buddhism was born, you know, uh, because uh, through uh, the practice of Theravada Buddhism, you know, uh, like uh, I found very interesting thing in meditation, in meditation experience, you know, uh, like it's meditation experience, you know, but uh, we cannot explain well in like a Theravada Buddhist world view, you know, then we need a totally new kind of world view, you know, to understand this one. Okay, then uh, this is a beginning of Mahayana Buddhism or something like that. This is my theory, theory, but not, not yet well, like uh, refined, you know, not, not yet. Uh, now I'm offering this theory and then uh, checking, you know, like that, you know, okay. So then uh, today, uh, uh, okay, I already I shared uh, some very interesting illustration, you know, uh, with you. Uh, this is uh, made by my Zen master, Ms. Uh, Kosho Uchiyama Roshi, uh, you know, uh, and this is uh, our, like, uh, uh, this is about our mind, our mind, you know. Then, uh, today's theme is like, uh, what is the fundamental cause of, of our suffering, you know. So, it means, this is not just a Buddhism. It's more like a more universal truth, you know. So it means it it applies to everyone, you know. It means it explains the people's mind of any kind of people, you know. Uh, Western people, Chinese people, Japanese people, Indian people, or well, Buddhist people, Christian people, Islam people. It doesn't matter. Okay, this is like a our uh, reality of our mind, okay? You understand? Then, then uh, later I will show you uh, another illustration, you know? Okay, then uh, this is uh, like uh, some kind of how to overcome our suffering, you know, or secret of overcoming our suffering something like that okay uh, so that's why uh, first uh, we really have to understand our mind or what our mind is is doing every day okay okay so let's start okay Okay, so maybe uh, everyone knows mindfulness, 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 okay? Then what is the definition of mindfulness, you know? Uh, maybe you know, like uh, we observe something, anything, you know, but without any likes and dislike, okay? Uh, we have to observe things objectively without uh, like a desire, without anger or something like that, okay? So this is a basic definition of mindfulness, right? So <laughs> all Buddhist teachers and all like a, a mindfulness uh, psychiatrists, you know, um, uh, psychiatrists who is using mindfulness to uh, like uh, <clears throat> to cure like a depressed people or something like that, you know, 
uh, of course, as you know, mindfulness is now being used by any any kind of people. Oh, of course, Buddhist teachers, psychiatrists, or counselors, or something like that. You know, uh, but most uh, basic definition of mindfulness is observe things objectively. Objectively means uh, with equanimity, with uh, without liking and disliking, or something like that. So what does it mean? It means <laughs> it means our mind, our ordinary mind is opposite of mindfulness, right? Okay. So because our mind, our mind is is opposite to mindful, mindful. That's why we have to be mindful, of course, you know. So then, uh, how? Uh, how what is our like uh, ordinary uh, uh, state of our ordinary mind? You know, always like and dislike, like and dislike. Okay, so about anything, like uh, you can see this uh, picture. You know, money or happiness. You know, money or happiness. You know, uh, why anything or a beautiful, beautiful man or you know or uh, like a, a beautiful car or anything, beautiful house or anything, we like it, okay? Then uh, poverty and happiness, we don't like it, okay? So then, like uh, our life is like uh, full of like and dislike, okay? Then we think, if I can get something which we like will be happier and if we can escape from something bad then we can be also happy okay this is a like a fundamental like a uh, energy of our life okay like and dislike you know so that's why you know So point is, you know, it's not like a <laughs> like uh, likes and dislike is wrong. Not like that, you know. <laughs> some, some like a, some teacher says, oh no no, you should you should not like or you should not dislike or no 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 no. This is not a point because we are always this kind of world. We are always in. The, this kind of world, it means something good, then if I can get this something good, I'll be happy. There's something wrong, then if I can escape from this something wrong, you know, something bad, then I can be also happy, you know. This kind of like a mental habit is our the cause of our suffering, cause of our suffering. Why? Okay, I'll explain later, you know. Then also, uh, this uh, B uh, group stupidity, you know. And as you know, okay, this part, we are always fighting together, you know, one to one or as a group, as a group, you know, uh, some group hate other group, you know, or some country hate other country or something like that, you know. So always fighting, fighting, fighting. And of course, one religion is fighting against another religion. One ideology is fighting against another ideology or something like that. Okay. So always fighting, 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 you know. So as long as we stay in this kind of world, you know, there is no exit, no exit. You know, why? Because then uh, we have to always chasing after something good. We always have to escape from something bad 
you know? And sometimes we succeed. But can we really escape from something bad? Can we really get something good always? Yes, sometimes yes, <laughs> but it doesn't, it doesn't last for, you know, forever, you know? Uh, so as you, everyone know, everyone knows, uh, in our life, something good happens, something bad happens, and then something good happens, something bad happens, something, something always like that, okay? <laughs> so, then, uh, but, okay, uh, can you show another illustration? Uh, Pante, just this slide is shown by you. Hmm? Uh, 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 uh. Okay, 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 okay. Just, just a moment. Uh, we can share if you want. Do, do you want us to share? Yeah, okay, okay. I want, I want to share, 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 share. Okay, okay. I can do it. Okay, this one. Can you see? Okay. Okay, this is a secret. <laughs> this is a secret. <laughs> just just a moment. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> okay. Okay. Look at this. Look at this. Okay. So, like a very strange picture. Okay. So, obviously, this is a, like a people who are meditating. Do you understand? People who are meditating. This. And in their head, you know, in their head, this kind of word, okay? Uh, we are chasing after, or we are escaping, or some people are fighting, fighting, fighting uh, in this world. And, but this world is only in our head. Do you understand? Do you understand? Okay. Okay. So, I think, you know, if you have uh, any experience of uh, meditation, maybe you can understand this a little bit. Why? Because like uh, if you have experienced meditation, you know that, for example, sometimes you are angry, but your anger doesn't last for a long time, you know? So usually we think, uh, I'm angry with someone, uh, uh, some, someone, right? So if, if someone apolo apologize to me, then I will be free from my anger toward this person, something like that. So that's why we do everything uh, to solve this problem, to calm down my anger, you know? You understand? Okay. But if you have experienced meditation, I think you have already experienced like uh, your anger will become weaker and weaker and, and disappear without uh, solving anything, you know, you know, oh, that guy is still there, uh, this problem is still here, you know, but uh, you are not angry with any, with this anymore, something like that, you know, and uh, like, a, and if you have very strong desire for anything, then you think, if I get this someone, then I will be satisfied and I'll be happy. But 
if you meditate, you know, like、uh, your desire doesn't last for a long time, you know, even if you cannot get this one, your desire will disappear sooner or later. Something like that. Okay? So then, little by little, you can learn many things through meditation. You know? Like,、uh, like uh, people who are doing meditation or, and people who have no experience of meditation, these two people are totally different. Maybe you know. You know, even if you are, you know,、uh, even your meditation is not so good, you know, <laughs> like、uh, always thinking, 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 or、uh, you cannot concentrate on breathing or like that, you know, still okay. Why? Because at least you know that、uh, you are always constantly thinking, 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 and then this is、uh, your problem. You know that. Okay, so then it means if you can be free from、oh, this crazy thinking, actually you'll be happy, something like that. So, if you have experience of、uh, meditation, you know that very well. Okay, and this is a uh, uh, this uh, drawing is、uh, showing why. You know, because please look at this, you know, like、uh, there is a word, there is a word, okay, and there is something good money, happiness, or anything, you know, and there is something bad, poverty, unhappiness. And we are chasing after, we are chasing after, and we are escaping from this, like that, you know. Then、uh, we think this is a word. Which we are living, you know, in which we are living. This is the world, you know. But, so, what are these people, you, you know,、uh, like this one person is meditating, you know? One person is meditating. So, little by little, you. Understand the, the whole the structure of the, this world. This world. It means until now,、uh, you think this is a, you are, this is a world. This is a world. You know, this rectangular. you know And we are living in this、uh, world. And always we are chasing after, we are escaping from like that, you know. But look at this. Actually, you are, you, okay, you are one of these people who are chasing after or who are es escaping from, you know, like、uh, you understand, you know, but、uh, you are at the same time. You are outside of this, outside of this world. Do you understand? Okay. So it means actually <laughs> you are two. You are two. Two means、uh, double. Maybe、uh, we, I always say double structure, double structure. You know? You know, Sujata or Luis or is these people and like that, you know. But、uh, at the same time, Sujata is actually this one, you know. And they,、hmm? uh, you're looking for me? No, 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 no. Do, do you understand? <laughs> You know,、uh, Sujata is maybe、uh, you would like to clarify. Maybe they might not understand what you mean by two person. Okay, 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 okay.、Yes. okay, okay, okay. There are many people in this world, 
there are many people in this world. And one of them is called Sujata. And one of them is called Louise. One of them is called Tom. One of them is to called John, something like that. Okay? But at the same time, you are out, at the same time you are outside of this world. <laughs> no, 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 no. Of course, you you cannot understand. You know, I I know. But uh, if you uh, do meditation little by little, you understand this one. Why? Okay, I said uh, by doing meditation, you cannot get anything good, or you cannot escape from something bad, but you are still happy. Why? Why? You know, if you are just one of these people, you can become happy only when you get something good. You can become happy only when you can escape from something bad, you know? But if you do meditation, you understand. It doesn't matter. If I can get something good, if, some, if I can escape from something bad, it doesn't matter. Why? Because you are also outside of this world. <laughs> so it means like uh, uh, I always say uh, there are two uh, like a, a double structure, double structure, double structure. It means uh, you are one side, one of them, one of them like this, you know. But at the same time, you are like this, outside of the world. Okay? So, Okay, so as long as you think you are just one of these people, like uh, your life is, will be full of misery, <laughs> misery, you know why? <laughs> because you know this person is born, you know, some years ago, you know, and this person will live for some years. And then what happens? Of course, this person is becoming older and older and older, you know? And if you become old, older, uh -huh. then you become usually sick, you know? No. Do you understand? Okay. Oh, I mean, okay. Mm. Then one day you have to leave this world. Okay. So this is a Buddha says like uh, suffering. Why we are suffering? Because we are born, we become old, and we become sick, and we are dying, something like that. Okay. So as long as we live like this, then our, our life is full of misery or something like that, you know, okay? So, but Buddha didn't say this, uh, like, uh, to make you, like, a desperate, to put you into despair, something like that, you know? Like, uh, Buddha said this because you misunderstand. You misunderstand. You misunderstand fundamentally. And because of your mi misunderstanding, you become miserable. You know, you think, you know, my life is full of misery or something like that. 
It's because you misunderstand fundamentally. You misunderstand the structure of this world fundamentally. Okay? So then, as you know, like Siddhartha, uh, uh, Prince Siddhartha, you know, he got enlightenment in the Buddha Gaya, you know, under the tree of Bodhi tree. You, know, you understand, right? So then, what did he say when he got enlightenment? You know, he said, like, uh, the gate of immortality, immortality, immortality means no death, no death, is opened. You understand? Okay. So it means until now we think, oh, everyone is born, become old, become sick, and we we'll die, or something like that. You know? Full of, uh, we are we are mortal, we can't live forever, something like that, okay? But Buddha says, no, 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 <laughs> you are immortal, you know? The gate of no death is opened, you know? So, so then you know that Buddhism is not like a, just, a, you know, making your mind just calm and peaceful and be happy, or, not like that. Buddhism is more than that, you know. Like a student, you know, uh, you cannot concentrate, you know. But if you do meditation, you can concentrate and you get <laughs> you uh, you you can study more or like that. Buddhism is not like that, you know. Of course, you know, if you meditate, you know, you your your mind can concentrate, you know, and you can concentrate on uh in your work and study or like that you know but buddhism is more than that so as buddha said uh buddhism when he got enlightenment like uh, the death of immortality opened so what does it's very simple very simple why because this person, you know, this person, you know, these, uh, there are many uh, people in this, in this rectangular world, you know, this people is actually mortal. Do you understand? This person is born, becoming sick, and uh, becoming old, becoming sick, and dying, you know? So, as long as we are identified with this kind of people, you know. Mm, uh, inevitably, like, uh, we'll be very unhappy. Okay? But... By practicing mindfulness, so, what is the definition of mindfulness? Like uh, observing things, but without liking and disliking, without desire and without anger, you know? But as long as you live in this rectangular world, it's impossible. It's impossible. Why? Because in this world, in this rectangular world, you always like something, you always hate something, you always have desire, you always have uh, uh, anger and uh, fear and like that. So it means you cannot be mindful, it's impossible. It's not a matter of training, you know. I, local, it's not like I'm not mindful, but by practicing, I become more and more mindful. It's not like that. No, 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 no. You cannot be mindful. It's impossible. Why? Because as long as you live in this rectangular world, you cannot be mindful. Why? Because you have full of desire and full of anger and fear or like that. Okay? So then mindfulness says, 
we have to observe things we like without like and dislike without desire without hatred fear or like that so what does it mean as long as you live as as a as this person it's imp absolutely impossible absolutely impossible okay so by practicing mindfulness little by little we are getting out of this rectangular world do you understand we are uh, little by little getting out of this world then where are we going we are coming back to this this person okay so now this person you know who is sitting like this you know and in his head the world is like this you know in his head world like this but this person is outside of this world okay so now you can understand the secret of mindfulness secret of mindfulness is like a, you find your true self here you know here this is a, your true self that's why now you can you have no desire no hatred no fear why because you are out of this world something like that okay so uh because this is not well explained until now i know that i know that i know i know and, and then mindfulness has been taught without this explanation you know then uh people become very desperate why because people cannot be mindful it's impossible you know uh like as long as we live in the, in this rectangular world we have a full of desire and full of anger then we know we know that this desire and anger are the cause of our suffering cause of our suffering because even if we have a strong desire we cannot get this one even if we have a strong hatred uh anger we cannot escape from this you know that's why we know desire and anger are the cause of our suffering then we think if we make this desire and uh, anger less and less and less and less you know then if they become smaller and smaller then uh, we'll be happier you know <laughs> but no it's impossible it's impossible because as long as we live in this rectangle world you know we can never we can never be free from like and dislike desire and anger it's impossible you know so this is not the practice of mindfulness it's impossible possible it's impossible even if you practice many years it's impossible you know fundamentally uh, uh, something chat chat okay uh, must uh, correct me if i'm wrong it means that the true self who's have the what's in the box and practice okay okay yes 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 it's right okay 
Okay. So, as long as we live in this rectangle world, we can never be free from desire and anger like that. You know, maybe we can make a little bit smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller, but actually not. Then maybe if you escape from anything, you know, like a big city, you know, <laughs> think for maybe you are think for maybe simulating your desire a lot, you know. But if you escape、uh, into some kind of forest, you know,、uh, maybe we can escape from, you know. But no, 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 no. Even in <laughs> forests, we still have a desire and anger like that. Okay, okay. So then. Mindfulness. Observe things objectively without liking, disliking, without desire, without anger. So, what does it mean? It means we just get out of this world, this rectangle world, you know? But actually, <laughs> you don't have to escape. Why? Because you are, your true self is here. Your true self is outside of this rectangle world. You know? But until now, we didn't know it. We didn't know it. And we have fundamental misunderstanding. I am just one of these people in this rectangle world. You know? Then this world is full of suffering, of course, of course, of course, of course, and first full of desire and anger, and we can never escape from this desire and anger. And this、uh, the person in this rectangle world、uh, is born, becomes old, becomes sick, and dying, you know, of course, full of. Full of Fear, you know, full of misery or like that. But now, you know, through pract、uh, by practicing mindfulness and also by understanding true meaning of mindfulness, little by little, you are discovering who you truly are, you know, like that. But But you know, I think you know, maybe most of you have already experienced、uh, meditation, you know. But until now, the explanation of meditation is not so good, you know. Like、uh, some people, oh, you have to concentrate, you know, or like、uh, you have to,、uh, like、uh, this is a meditation object, you have to concentrate on this, you know, because you, you, cannot, ex-、uh, you, you cannot concentrate. You know, your, your mind is going ev- everywhere. That's why, you know, you are unhappy. But if you concentrate on this,、uh, you'll be peaceful and you'll be calm and you'll be happy. Of course not. No, this is not meditation. You know, like、uh, med- uh, the purpose of meditation is not like that. Purpose of meditation is to find your true self. Your true self. And you, you find your true self outside of this world. And actually, you know it. Why? Because sometimes in your meditation, you can, sometimes you can be very calm. You can be very calm. You are very content. You are very satisfied. You know? You are very peaceful. You know? Why? Because already you are out of this world, out of this rect- like a rectangular world. You know? World. You know, don't worry. All of you already know it. All of you have already felt it. But、uh, explanation was wrong. You know, expression is not good. That's why. You could not get 
right explanation of why I'm so peaceful, why I'm so content, why I am so happy. You know? It's not because your mind is just calming down, you know, your mind is very concentrated. It's not like that. No, because you are touching something which is outside of this world. This is your true self, you know? So, if you understand this whole big structure, you can have a very correct understanding, precise understanding of mindfulness, you know? The purpose of mindfulness. You know, letting go of liking and disliking, letting go of desire and anger, you know, letting go of attachment and hatred, you know. Until now, we think, oh, oh, oh we have desire, hand and attachment or like that, or oh, we have to get it, we have to go like this, you know. It's not like that, you know. As long as you live in this rectangle world as a person like this, it's impossible to let go of all these things. But if you discover your true self, your true self is, uh, is outside of this world, then now you have no desire, you have no anger. Desire of anger doesn't make any sense, you know, <laughs> because you are outside of this world. Do you understand? Okay, so then you can have a perfect mindfulness. You can observe these, these everything in this world, you know. It can be your mind, it can be your breathing, it can be your body, you know, it can be anything. Okay, just a moment, chat. Hi, Benu. Is a true self in conflict with the teaching on no self? Oh, no, sorry. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, 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 okay. No self means there is no self in the pers per person in this rectangle world. Until now, we think this is me, you know, this is me, and this is myself, you know, like that. And Buddha says, no, this is not you, you know, that's why there's no self, no self, you know. So, no self, you know, but, uh, <laughs> but of course, you know, true self is a little bit, a little bit dangerous word, you know, because why? Because true self, then people imagine something, something, something substantial or something like that, you know. But actually, like, uh, okay, uh, if you are out of this world, you know, then there is no such kind of like a substantial thinking or like that. I, I mean, no substance. Okay. So it's already like a, a, in Buddhism, emptiness is most important thing, emptiness, you know? So that's why uh, like a, this, uh, Mindfulness. Mindful means we are observing things objectively without liking and without disliking, you know? But this is not ordinary thinking, ordinary consciousness, ordinary, you know, ordinary thinking always uh, has an object and like and dislike, like and dislike, you know? But this mindfulness has no like and disliking, you know, so no object. 
So that's why、uh, true self doesn't mean something like a substance like that. You know? So that's why it doesn't contradict with、uh, no self. You know? Buddha always, Buddha just said no self means,、uh, he means, like、uh, there's no self in these people. Like that. Okay? So, Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so, <laughs> okay, so today this is just a, just a beginning, you know. So you don't have to understand everything only today, you know. I just、uh, give some kind of hint, you know. So, like, uh, uh, because, you know, uh, uh, now we are going to do some kind of meditation. But meditation, please don't misunderstand. Like, I wish to concentrate, or we should get, let go of desire and anger, or like that. It's not like that. If we do so, like, meditation becomes very, like,、uh, some kind of conflicting, you know? And some people become miserable by doing meditation, you know? <laughs> sometimes become very depressed, or sometimes be very irritated, you know? Why? Because they are doing fundamentally wrong, you know, wrong meditation. You know, please understand the secret to mindfulness is you are, you just、uh, go beyond this re、uh, rectangular world and then you just look at this everything. From outside, from outside, no, from here, you know, then you have no liking and disliking, no desire, no anger, no hatred.、And、then you can have a perfect mindfulness, you know. So, Uh, okay. Um, uh, Bante, sorry to interrupt. I have a question here from、uh, one of the participants.、Okay. Uh, can I read the question to you? Okay, okay,、uh, okay. Okay, before we go into the meditation, in order for us to get out of this square,、hmm. we should be mindful first and we should understand all the pheno、uh, phenomena of、uh, impermanence. So、uh, she's confused how to get out of this square. Just meditating without mindfulness. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. First, first of all, today I will give the whole picture, whole picture, you know, like、uh, this square, this square,、uh, this is a world. Until now, we think this is a world, you know. And I'm living in this world, you know? But actually, you are actually out of the, this square world. So, so now you have a, like a two, two dual, <laughs> dual、uh, double structure. In one thing, one sense, You are one of these people who are living in this square world. But at the same time, you are out of this square world. You know? Two. Maybe I know it's very difficult to understand. But through meditation, I think already you know it. You know it. But until now, You could not get enough right explanation. That's why you could not think like that. But, but as I said, as I said like I, you have all the experience of becoming peaceful, becoming content, becoming calm, you know, becoming just happy without any reason. Why? Because you are already touching something. Which is 
outside of this square world. You know? So you are both. You are at the same time a person in this square world, but you are also outside of this world. Okay? So then your question is, so how to practice mindfulness? So as I said, a prisoner and first please understand the, the whole structure, whole structure, you know? Then uh, today I we practice like a, a like a feeling the inner body, inner body, inner body, you know, like inside of the body, you know. So by touching the the inside of the body. Like our ordinary thinking is coming down, you know. Then, little by little, our ordinary thinking is coming down, but a totally new consciousness, totally new mindful consciousness is arising. You know, it's a uh, it's changing. And don't worry, you already knew, know it, this one. Because I think all of you have already experienced of becoming peaceful. Oh, just a moment, chat. Uh, hi, Benabu, are you referring to one mind that is the knowing or observing mind? And the other mind is the doing or thinking mind. The doing or thinking mind is impermanent. Changing. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. This constantly thinking, 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 thinking. And constantly trying to do something. Is of course this is impermanent. Impermanent. But we have a different kind of mind. You know? Until now we have we thought I have only one mind. Only one kind of mind. And this this mind is just thinking, 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 and liking, dislike, oh, liking, disliking, dislike, you know, and constantly uh, we try to be, <laughs> we, we try to be here and now, but uh, this mind cannot be here and now, you know, like that. But uh, there's different kind of mind, you know, so it means like a uh, Meditation is not trying to train this thinking mind, you know? No. Meditation is find to different kind of mind. So you have two kinds of mind. One mind is uh, thinking, doing, and in this square world. Another part, another mind is already outside of the square mind, square world, you know? So I think, please believe, you already knew, already you know these two kinds of mind. Sometimes you, sometimes, or most of the time, <laughs> you, you, this thing your mind is, is functioning, thinking, 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 but sometimes you, you change this and suddenly you feel quiet, peaceful, content. I'm just happy without any reason, you know, like that. But uh, you cannot change intentionally like this. And sometimes this big mind, think minds become very depressed and very unhappy, very miserable, but you cannot change it, you know. But by doing meditation, you can change, you know, you can change. Your mind becomes very irritated or like that, but you can change with this, okay. So that's why 
by being mindful we can check we can change from this to that and by and then we become mindful of course this mind is actually mindful because this mind is outside of this square world and that's why this mind is full of uh, free from like and dislike desire and hatred like that okay so today uh, we practice uh, inner body meditation uh, okay so we need put focus on the observing mind awareness without discrimination yes 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 you are true yes okay okay uh, <clears throat> okay usually this you are constantly thinking 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 and thinking means by thinking you are creating the world i'm always saying like a mo movie you are making a movie you know you are not just thinking you are making a like a movie world movie world you know then you are completely trapped in this movie world which you made it nobody made it it's it's you who made it this movie world okay but uh, we are completely trapped in this movie world. Then what should we do? Of course, there are many kinds of meditation techniques, you know? Uh, of course, uh, observing breathing is one of them. But uh, observing breathing is not so good uh, when you are thinking, 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 you know? Because thinking, 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 observing, breathing, observing, thinking, 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 observing, breathing. It's no, 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 not so good, you know. And sometimes people have a very like a tension here, you know, muscle tension here. Oh, I can, I should concentrate on breathing. It's impossible, you know. So then I, uh, I recommend like uh, observing body, body body it means uh like a, we have a hand right hand you know and usually we never pay attention to the inside of our hand because we we are using this hand for everybody everything you know in our daily life or shaking hand writing or, uh, like like that we are we are doing everything with our hands, you know, but we never pay attention to our hand itself. Do you understand? We, you never pay attention to this finger, this hand, you know, but now we pay attention to the hand, you know, <laughs> we pay attention to our arms we pay attention to our shoulder you know why because by paying attention to the inside of our body uh, we can stop our thinking you know, because thinking and observing body cannot go well. We cannot do, we cannot do two things together. You know, thinking, 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 we forget our body. You know, by observing body, we can let go of our thinking. Okay, so Okay, uh, like uh, today, we have been discussing discriminating mind, you know, ordinary mind, thinking mind, you know. 
and this might make a movie, make a world, and we are trapped in this world, which we made it, which you made it. That's why, why don't we stop this creating the world by observing our body? Do you understand? Okay, let's do it. Okay, so like uh, uh, you can sit on the meditation cushion or you can sit on your chair. Okay. Okay, so uh, first, please sway your upper body from left to right, from right to left. Okay, so then shoulders you raise your shoulders up, 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 and down. Up, 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 down. Up, 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 down. Okay. Then, uh, please breathe out using your mouth. And please breathe out all the airs in your lungs. Okay, three times. Okay, let's do it. Okay, breathe out. I breathe in, I breathe out. Breathe in. Okay. Okay, you can close your eyes. You can close your eyes and your hands, uh, you can put your hands on your knees. Okay. Then please enter into your body. Usually, usually you never pay attention to the body itself unless you have some kind of pain, you know, but now maybe all of you have no pain in your body. Okay, so please now you are sitting on your chair or on the cushion. Okay, so chair or your chair or your cushion are supporting you. Your barrack is being supported by the cushion or the chair. Now please feel it, how your barrack is being supported. Okay, so let's go to our 
right foot, right foot. Can you feel right foot and the five fingers? And the bottom of your right foot. And your right ankle. and right calf, right knee, right thigh, and your right joint, and, and then left foot and left leg, like this. So your buttock, and your two legs together, you can feel your lower body. Okay, so then you can find you can feel the bottom of your spine, the bottom of your spine. And breathing in, you are climbing up in the spine. And you, you are reaching the top of your head. Then breathing out, you are climbing down in your spine. Breathing in, Breathing out. Okay, so now not only the spine, you can feel, you can observe the, your whole upper body, starting from your buttock, your hip, your waist, your back, your shoulder, your neck, your head. 
and and you are breathing out and you are coming down head face your chest your abdomen your lower abdomen and the bottom of your spine breathing in you are climbing up breathing out you are climbing down Don't you feel some kind of subtle energy is flowing in your body? Subtle energy. And you are already coming down. You can feel each part of your body you can feel your each part of your body but at the same time you can feel your whole body as one which is full of subtle energy Okay, so let's concentrate on your abdomen, your abdomen. So what is going on in your abdomen? Naturally, you are breathing in, breathing out. At the same time, your abdomen is rising falling breathing in it's rising breathing out it's falling then from your abdomen this such energy is going to every part of your body, to your feet, to your hands, to your shoulder, chest, to your head. Then your body is full of such energy. You don't know why, but you are very peaceful, very calm. Breathing in, breathing out. Your abdomen is rising, falling. So just letting go of your, all your thinking, your discriminating mind, thinking mind, and just feel your inside of your body, you can say inner body.
Okay, stay here for a while.
Breathing in, breathing out, rising, falling. Okay, so please breathing, breathing out three times deeply. And slowly, quietly, please sway your upper body from left to right, from right to left. And you are, and raise your shoulders a few times. Okay, so. <clears throat> We still have a uh, ten minutes more than like that. So, uh, if you have uh, any question now, you can ask and we can discuss about uh, about my today's talk or the meditation which we have done right now. Please take the opportunity to seek uh, advice from Bante because currently it's already like 10, 10, 15 in Japan and Bante is so compassionate to spend time with us. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> yeah, if, if any one of you have any question, you can unmute yourself and ask Bante. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. I also am very interested in what you are thinking, you know, <laughs> because constantly I'm talking like this with my Japanese students, you know, uh, but, uh, you know, uh, for these two years, I've never been to for uh, abroad, you know, because I, until now, before uh, this COVID, uh, every year I went to India or Taiwan, you know, like that, and to, to teach uh meditation to foreign students but uh these two and a half year nothing nothing <laughs> only through only zoom you know so so i'm very interested in what you are thinking yes please ask any question uh -huh. maybe one day maybe may i start a little oh okay 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 yes yes yes, yes. yes. i think the concept that you introduce is quite new to singaporean because uh, most of us when we are uh, attending any um, meditation course, the first thing they most of the teacher will ask us to do is like anapanasati. Anapanasati. Uh, without giving, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yes, without giving the, the the explanations that you had just now, which I truly appreciate because like we don't understand the essence and the fundamental why we meditate and we straight away jump into meditation, going to the methods. It can actually cause more harm than good. Yes, yes, yes. So yes. I like the. You know, you know that. You know that. <laughs> yes. I know very, very well. <laughs> in so, in Pauk, you know, yes. we are practicing 24 hours, you know, but the men, yes. they cannot do it, you know. <laughs> yes. Okay, Especially please. the foreigners, they really, really, really struggle because they don't understand that, you know, in terms of to meditate, 
we have to get out of this thinking mind before we can actually meditate. Yes, 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 yes. yes. But not many people want to do that. They think that, you know, I'm asking you to relax. It's not meditation and they run away. They don't come to, 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 to us anymore. Mm -hmm. So I really appreciate like you use the Zen method to explain to them that why is it so important to get to the natural mind before you can do any meditation proper. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I really appreciate Bante for these um, very precious teachings. Yes, yes, yes. So like, uh, you know, uh, in especially in Zen Buddhism, you know, uh, they put emphasis on this like our true mind true mind or true self or like that you know but then there is no method <laughs> to find this true true self you know like uh, i used to practice uh, uh like a just sitting method just sitting method it means no method no method just sit that's it you know just sit without any method or like that. And you have to find, we have to discover your true self, you know, like that. Of course, it's impossible. Of course, it's impossible. Then, uh, then later, I met Thich Nhat Hanh or like that, or Tibetan, I don't know, terrible teachers. And they teach us mindfulness, mindfulness, you know. But then again, People use their your ordinary mind. People are using their ordinary mind and try to be mindful. Oh, yeah. And it's impossible. Why? Wrong because again. <laughs> our ordinary mind is the opposite of mindful, you know, like and our ordinary mind full of like and disliking. Then people think, okay, maybe uh, we make them less and less and less, you know. If we have a 10 like and dislike, then we make them 8, 7, 6, 5. No, 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 no. Not like that. You know, no different. We have to change our mind from our ordinary mind and with a with totally new mind. Uh, you know, so it's as Sujata says, you know, uh, we have to we cannot do meditation with our ordinary mind. We can do meditation only with this new mind. Uh, so then point is how to change, you know? So then by becoming mindful, we can change this uh, from here to here, you know? But uh, we need, uh, at the same time, we need understanding about these, there are two kinds of mind, then we can change it. But uh, until now, there's no enough explanation about these two things. And then that's why people try to be mindful with this ordinary mind. And then they find it's impossible, you know? Yes. Can I add a little bit, Pante? Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, because currently I'm studying counseling. So mm -hmm. in counseling concept, right, they break down the ordinary mind mm -hmm. into four um, category, mm -hmm. which is like uh, thinking, mm -hmm. emotions, mm -hmm. behavior, behavior, uh -huh. and bodily sensations. Bodily sensations. Okay, okay, okay. So like normally we will work on this to at, let them at least understand what is this ordinary mind. Mm -hmm. But in counseling, they don't go the step like how Buddhism go. Mm -hmm. uh, and after understanding this ordinary mind, this complex mind that we had that make us suffer, there's mm -hmm. this thing called pure mind. Mm -hmm. I mean, the ordinary mind in terms of Zen Buddhism, that is mm. what Buddhists are striving for. Yeah. Mm. So actually there are methods to understand the complex mind so that it can simplify to become the, the a more simplified mind. Then we start meditation to understand the pure mind. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Yeah, but uh, like, uh, you know, in counseling, you know, like uh, everyone knows our ordinary mind is very dysfunctional. You know, because ordinary minds is thinking of 
one thing again and again and again and again, you know, and we remember one thing again and again and again, and we imagine something very bad, you know, and we become more miserable like that. So this, my, our ordinary mind makes us so miserable, so unhappy, you know, nobody else, nothing else, our own mind itself, you know, so it's very ironical, you know, we become miserable because of, of our mind, you know, <laughs> so that's why we really have to understand the, like a structure of our mind, you know, then let go and we can change uh, from our ordinary mind to our original mind or our true mind or like that, you know, something like that. Okay, so some, there's some kind of uh, chat. Oh, but what is the benefit of this body meditation? Many may know or have some exposure to breathing meditation. Thank you. Okay, 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 okay. <clears throat> so usually I teach breathing meditation, Anapanasati, as Sujata says, after this body meditation. Why? Because Usually people try to do anapanasati, uh, observing breathing in, breathing out, with our ordinary mind, you know, with our ordinary mind. And our body and mind, you know that our body and mind is going, jumping around, jumping around like a monkey, monkey, you know, from one branch to another branch, you know. Then uh, breathing mind is just uh, staying at one branch, right? Uh, then uh, you just get this monkey mind to, you should stay here, you know, and you should observe breathing in, breathing out. Uh, then you, you are fighting with your monkey, you know, like that. And you, 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 you know, you catch your mind, my monkey like this, you know. It's like a, some kind of violent, very violent, you know, violent. And you know that, you know that. You know, you are very violent, you know, when you become breathing. Uh, so that's very ironical, you know. You are trying to, you, you know, like a, you you want peace, right? You want to become calm, right? And you thought, you know, by doing meditation, you can become peaceful. But actually, your mind becomes more violent, you know, because uh, you, are, you are fighting with your monkey mind, you know, something like that, you know. So that's why... I'm not teaching, I usually I don't teach breathing meditation at first. Usually I first uh, teach a body sensation, body sensation meditation. You know why? Because, you know, like uh, body sensation and uh, thinking, uh, these two things, uh, they cannot, we can't do two things simultaneously, simultaneously, you know? So when we're thinking, 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 we forget our body completely, you know. So some people who, are th who think too much, who, think, who are always thinking too much, they actually, they have no sensation. They have no idea about their body, you know. So I say, please uh, feel your hand. But they cannot do it, you know, because they can never feel their hand, you know. But your hand, you know, nobody else's hand, your hand. So we cannot feel our own hand. It's very strange. Why? Because we are thinking, 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 and we, we are always staying here, you know. So that's why first we have to get out of this, this head, you know. We have to get out of this head by uh, feeling our body. This is the shortest way, you know? So that's why, uh, you know, like uh, in Theravada Buddhism, uh, there's a, uh, like a four elements meditation, earth, water, fire, air, you know? So maybe next time we can do it, you know? Like uh, we, we find two elements uh, in our body, earth elements, water elements, fire elements, and wind elements, you know. Uh, then little by little, 
we are becoming, uh, we are entering into our body and we can feel uh, these four elements. And when we feel our inner body, at a time, we can be free from our thinking mind. We can be free from our ordinary mind. Then, little by little, we can become uh, mindful, little by little. So that's why uh, I uh, teach body sensation, body meditation at first. Then when we become uh, mindful, then yes, you can be mindful of your breathing in, breathing out, without fighting, you know, without <laughs> like this, you know. Okay, so then last one. Uh, high Venerable True Mind means the mind that is relaxed and not thinking. <laughs> yes, yes, of course, relaxed and not thinking. Uh, but the point is, it's it, relaxed and not thinking. It's just a result, result, okay? Uh, we really have to get out of this, this square world, you know? Then we can observing this world with mindfulness. At this time, of course, you are completely relaxed. Why? Because you have no tension, you know? Then you are very peaceful, you know? Something like that. Okay, oh my God. Okay, just a moment. Hi, Vedanva. I think the hard thing to accept for beginners is awareness without discrimination because our thinking mind is always grasping for something. So most people are comfortable with a grasping over something, but not comfortable with awareness, without discrimination, <laughs> basically doing nothing. So they, de they find it difficult to go into the pure awareness mode. Am I right? Yes, you are right, you know. And because <clears throat> grasping, you know, grasping of course, grasping something, good and opposite is escaping you know escaping or hate or angry or like that you know so always discriminating 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 because if we think we are living in this that square world we have to always discriminate good and bad you know uh, then like a uh, for pure awareness, pure, you know, pure consciousness, we really have to get out this square world, you know. So, uh, of course, you are not used to it, because until now, we have been living always, always discriminating, you know. So that's why, uh, that's why we become so miserable. You know, as a result, you know, <laughs> so, but then when we stop discriminating, we can also stop our misery. Like this. Okay, oh, already, already. <laughs> In Japan, Japanese time, 2.30, uh, uh, 10.30, so. Yeah, please yes. let Monday rest. Yes, <laughs> yes. Monday okay, okay. Yes, okay. Uh, let's continue to, uh, next week, you know? Yes, Monday. So uh, can, can we invite you to lead us in the uh, dedication of the merits and paying respect to the Buddha? Okay, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, may all the merits which we have accumulated uh, by tonight's uh, class uh, go toward the benefit of all sentient beings. Uh, may all beings be well and happy. Thank you very much. <laughs>